Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The BT-3F represents a novel addition to the Russian arsenal, serving as a tracked armored personnel carrier developed since 2010. It draws its foundation from the BMP-3F infantry fighting vehicle, prioritizing enhanced amphibious capabilities. While foregoing the turret found on the BMP-3F, it features an elevated superstructure reminiscent of the 1V172-2 artillery control vehicle. Primarily crafted for deployment within Russian naval infantry units, the BT-3F stands poised to partially supplant the existing fleet of BTR-80 Series 8x8 armored personnel carriers utilized by these units. A prototype of the BT-3F was publicly unveiled in 2016, though the vehicle's adoption by the Russian Navy remains uncertain. Nevertheless, it's also being actively promoted to potential international buyers. Indonesia, for instance, committed to acquiring 21 units of the BT-3F in 2019 to bolster its naval infantry, with delivery slated for completion between 2021 and 2022. Subsequently, in 2020, Indonesia's Ministry of Defense greenlit the procurement of an additional 79 BT-3F vehicles, effectively raising their total count to 100. Designed to facilitate seamless deployment from amphibious assault ships, the BT-3F excels in ferrying marines safely from vessel to shore while under armor protection. Its operational scope extends to spearheading beach landings and securing coastal perimeters for subsequent troop movements. Post-landing, the vehicle transitions into tasks such as patrolling, checkpoint duties, and transportation of personnel and supplies inland. In terms of defensive capabilities, the BT-3F boasts significant advantages over its BTR-80 counterparts, featuring enhanced protection, double the troop carrying capacity, and superior off-road maneuverability thanks to its track design. Constructed from welded aluminum alloy armor, its all-round defense can withstand 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds, with the front arc potentially reinforced to withstand 30mm armor-piercing hits. Optionally, add-on explosive reactive armor kits can further augment its protective capabilities. Equipped with smoke grenade dischargers and capable of generating smoke screens through fuel injection into its exhaust, the BT-3F enhances its survivability on the battlefield. Internally, the vehicle accommodates a crew of three, commander, driver, and gunner, alongside 14 dismounts accessing the vehicle via rear doors. Despite cramped entry and limited internal space, emergency exits are facilitated through roof hatches. Armament configurations include a remotely controlled weapon station featuring a 7.62mm machine gun on the demonstrator model, though heavier armaments such as 12.7 or 14.5mm heavy machine guns, or 30 or 40mm automatic grenade launchers, are viable options. Additionally, two forward-firing 7.62mm machine guns are operated by dismount seated adjacent to the driver. Powered by the United 29 diesel engine delivering 500 horsepower, inherited from the BMP-3, the BT-3F boasts a hydropneumatic suspension system adaptable to varying terrains. Its self-entrenching blades enable the vehicle to prepare defensive positions, while its amphibious capabilities are facilitated by twin water jets. Moreover, due to its comparable dimensions and weight to the BMP-3, the BT-3F can be airlifted using existing military transport aircraft, further enhancing its versatility for rapid deployment. Lastly, the vehicle's modular design lends itself to serving as a carrier platform for a diverse range of specialized systems, enhancing its utility across a spectrum of operational scenarios. That's all for now, see you later.